Theory and Practice of Silviculture, Lecture Number Five. In the previous lecture, we have studied about the climatic factors, and in this present lecture, we are going to study about the topographical or physiographic factor. Factors of locality. Already, we are discussing that we are having four categories. One is climatic. We already studied topographic or physiographic. Third one is edaphic, and fourth one is biotic. This factor of locality factors, which are classified into four categories, are very important for us to understand how to manage the forest and how to do silviculture. And in this lecture. We are going. We are going to study about the slope and aspect and exposure. Already, we have studied configuration of land surface and altitude in my previous lectures. Slope is very important, and aspect and exposure. Let's come to slope. So, for a forester, slope is very very important because slope will determine the erosiveness. Slope will determine the Depth of the soil, slope will determine the moisture region. So, uh, on the basis of the angle, slope is been classified into level slope, very zero to five degree. Then we have gentle slope, five to ten degree. Then we have moderate slope, ten to fifteen degree, steep slope, very steep slope, and precipitation up to forty-five degree. On the basis of the loss and gain of the material. Now it will be classified like a denudation slope. Denudation slope means loss occurs continuously. Then transportation slope. Transportation slope is neither loss neither gain. And then accumulation slope. Accumulation slope is where we have gain to the ground. For example, here you can see soil deposit here. Now this. Hence, been classified further on the basis of these three slopes. We can first we say straight slope. You can see this is a straight slope. Then we have concave slope. This is a concave slope. Here we can see concave slope. Curve is there. Then we have convex slope. And here we can see a type of a uh, cliff. We can say this is a cliff. In cliff, we will have always Falling of the soil, we call topples. So, runoff, drainage, moisture, all is dependent on the type of a slope, like a straight slope, concave slope, convex slope. So, slope affects the runoff, drainage, and thus has a profound influence on the moisture regime of the soil. As a general rule, steeper the slope. Greater is the runoff, so steeper will be the slope. Greater will be the runoff, and the slope modifies also the intensity of insulation of the sun. So, if it is more steeper, then more insulation you can have on the slopes. So, this will also affect the moisture of the surface soil. So, slope affects the erosion as well as the depth. Generally, greater the slope. Greater erosion by the water because steepness of the slope increases the steepness of the water flow and is eroding power. Now you can see the steepness of the slope; it increases the speed of water flow. So what it will do? It increases the eroding power. As the eroding power increases, you can see there is a uh, great uh, devastating things which is happening as a real erosion to gully it becomes and then you can see it is very difficult for a forester to uh, make it redeeming that area thus the depth of a soil in the hills varies inversely with the increasing slope while the valley in the hill have deep slopes because you can see this is the uh, slope uh, valley area where Uh, due to erosion, lot of uh, soil has been get deposited here. So moisturism is more, depth is more here. Thus, a slope affects vegetation on the site, affecting the runoff, insulation, temperature, moisture, depth of the soil. That's why the valley in the hills have deep soils as compared to the top. So this year will have more more moisture because soil depth will be more because deposition of the Soil. So, slope affects the presence of the vegetation more 
uh, in the valleys less on the ridges we'll come to the aspect and exposure on the physiographic or topographic factor this is very important for a forester to understand because this happens on the hill and the mountain regions only now what is aspect and what is exposure we'll understand first what is aspect aspect is defined as the direction towards which the slope faces towards which the slope faces so this is the direction if we see the direction if you see this one uh, we can say uh, this is west western side this is east eastern side this is let's take south and back side of this mountain hill will be north so the direction to which this slope will face this is called aspect maybe western aspect eastern aspect northern aspect or you can say south west aspect north east aspect this way is called where the direction of the slope faces what is exposure exposure on the other hand is defined as a relation to the weather condition relation to the side to the weather condition now again i say exposure is defined as the relation of the side to the weather condition let's see what is the relation to this uh, aspect to the weather condition by what is what is that weather condition very important is a uh, sun and wind that is what called exposure so let's see this is the hills and mountains uh, in masuri area where we can just to tell you that for example here we have aspect and this is also you can see aspect if we can see this aspect is south this side will be north so aspect means where the slope faces direction where the slope faces exposure means exposed to the weather conditions let's come to the aspect now aspect of the land or a slope determines the amount of exposure to the radiations in turn modifies the moisture content temperature soil and air so this determines the vegetation and the density if this aspect let's take this aspect is northern aspect now this northern aspect is what exposed to the weather condition like your sun wind or rain so this will determine because this will determine what is the vegetation here for example and let's take this is a southern aspect this southern aspect are generally warmer northern aspect are generally cooler and moisture now this southern aspect relation with the sun wind and it is more hotter aspect and moisture is very less your vegetation will be very poor here now how to understand this one aspect and exposure determines the amount of insulation received by hill slope now as a forester let us understand it very nicely that in northern hemisphere this is our country and i take this one is a northern hemisphere this is northern hemisphere of india where you can see lot of mountain ranges are running from east to west mountain chains are running there are this this entire northern hemisphere will have aspect now what type of aspect southern northern eastern western similar we have hills and mountains on the southern side in western ghats now we see how much it is far from the equator this is a equator sun you see the sun will give the oblique angle here striking the light and here it is almost on the top of the equator so here there will be very less effect of the weather conditions like sun and wind here there will be very different let's take one of the mountain from northern hemisphere here and consider the aspect first this may be because sun is striking you can see the sun striking from here this will be the southern aspect here will be the eastern aspect here will be the western aspect and back side is the northern you can see the east sun rises from here and then 
Set here is the western aspect. So this side is east, this side is west, this side is south, southern, and the back side is the northern aspect. Take this mountain. Let's take this mountain and understand. And and, and my next slide. Before that, I want to tell you that always southern aspect. This southern aspect, southwest aspect, is around 1.6 to 2.3 times higher intensity of light. Intensity of light is 1.6 to 2.3 times higher than the northern aspect. So these things we have to keep in our mind that always it is nearby 2.3 times, means double. The intensity of the light on the southern aspect is almost double than that of northern aspect. Okay. Now let's because if it is double, if insulation is double, then the moisture or evaporation or the temperature will be higher in the southern aspect as compared to northern. But this is only in the northern Himalayas. This is only in the northern Himalayas of our country. Now let me first take this mountain of northern Himalaya and explain you. Explain in a such a way the same mountain where I'll consider that sun rises from the east and west uh, sets in the west. Now, this mountain have southern aspect this much, and here we have east, here we have west, backside we have north. Let's take this mountain. This is east. Here we'll have north, backside. Here we have east. So this will be. North east aspect and this side will be south west aspect. Now, we have to understand very nicely that north eastern slopes, we have to understand that north eastern slope is exposed to sun in early part of the day, in the morning it will be exposed, early morning. As it reaches the midday, uh, your shade will start in the north east aspect. So, this northeastern aspect during the early hours, what happens in the early hours? Number one, temperature is very low. In the morning hours, when it comes in the morning, when the sun rises, first light will come in the northeast aspect, temperature is very low and then dew is still on the vegetation, you will find lot of dew in the vegetation, start, they will start, evaporation will start. And in some cases where there is a freezing, then there will be some damage to the seedling because freezing in the soil, uh, you will freeze the soil moisture also and which is not available for the seedlings to take up for the evaporation. What will happen? The, the seedling may die because evaporation will start, transpiration will start. But in many cases, what will happen? Your temperature is low your dew is still on the vegetation and then by 11 o'clock or something when the sun reaches here, uh, by the time the south aspect already the evaporation has been started, the transpiration has already been done there, it is start becoming more hotter because by 12 o'clock noon this northeast will be have shade again and it this will have a cooler and moisture this aspect will always be cooler and moisture and more luxuriant vegetation. By the time it reaches 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock here, it will be hot desiccating, southwest will be hot desiccating and just because of very loss of moisture happens in this area. So, when I go back, I will tell you that this northern Himalayas will have always uh, southern aspect more exposed to sun as compared to northeast aspect here. So, when we see this aspect of southwestern aspect, on the other hand, gets exposed to the sun after the air temperature has fully warmed by 11 or 12 o'clock because of greater insulation, loss of moisture by evaporation. Your southern aspect is twice that hot, twice that what you say desiccating as compared to north aspect. As I, to, as I told, it is 2.3 times more insulation. Your southern aspect has 2.3 times your double times more to the northern aspect. So, this aspect, southern aspect will have very less vegetation or very stunted type of growth here. On the other hand, the northeast aspect will have cooler, moisture, luxuriant vegetation. This is a one photograph been shown in a Masuri hills. This is a southern aspect. 
this is a southern or southwestern aus aspect where you can see very less vegetation or denuded area because it is more exposed to sun it is more exposed to wind and the other hand this uh, northeast aspect in that same hill is very luxuriant and very good growth because of cooler climate and moisture climate moisture retention here so this is what the difference in the northern himalayas will see that these uh, slopes are uh, northeastern slopes are more better than the southern slopes this is the difference of the aspect this is one uh, photograph of uh, jammu in katra you can see there's a tourist place where uh, you can see the vegetation is more better but as we go in the higher uh, you'll find the southern aspect vegetation is very very less one more thing to observe if we have ranges of mountains are there in the northern himalayas but there are uh, we can see the difference in the temperature same temperature when two slopes two hills are running parallel from east to west let's take this one east and let's take this one west they are running from east to west let's take this is a valley and this is always south south southwestern aspect this is northeast aspect this slope again we take is southwest aspect this is northeast aspect so in the same valley we can see the difference now what is the difference we'll see for example we see deodar forest on the southern let's take this one is deodar similarly on the other side also if you find southern i mean we have deodar on the same parallel on the other side on the same valley on the same parallel side on the other hill which is in the northeast we can find here spruce and fir this is what the difference difference of microclimate again here we can see southern aspect are bit hotter and northern are bit cooler northeastern cooler southwestern bit hotter if we have deodar here uh, on this uh, southwestern or uh, opposite to the same valley we can find the spruce and fir coming on the northeastern because they are cooler and they are bit temperatures bit low and more moisture that is what the difference we have that the two slopes on the same valley running east to west have deodar forest slopes having southern aspect and fir and spruce on the slope having northern aspect even when their altitude is same so that is what to understand and if we go in the previous lecture already i told about the microclimate you can see the aspect how it affects if we have here pinus valley china if we have here deodar if we have here paisia simithiana and we have here abbey spindro now this is a southern aspect or southwest aspect and this is your northeast aspect of uh, northern himalayas what will happen on the south if we have on the altitude pilas valichana here nearby on the opposite side of northeast on the same mountain we may have deodar sidras deodar so similarly here as we go in higher altitude in southwestern aspect we have deodar on the opposite of north eastern aspect of the same altitude approximately we may have paisia simithiana then on the southwestern aspect if you have abbey spindro here on the southwestern aspect as we go back on the northeastern we may have junipers here so this is what the difference and this is the effect of aspect on the vegetation uh, where it occurs so this is what about the topographical factors this is what the physiographical factors as it has been explained about the configuration of land then is explained about the altitude it was explained about the slope and then aspect and exposure how this affect the vegetations on the hilly countries or mountain areas thank you very much keep watching for the locality factor for edaphic factor on the next coming lecture
थैंक यू